Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. Welcome to another Stock Swish Show Play of the Day. This is Envy. And why did I do this today? Well, I just like this whole chart short, and who wouldn't? Uh, first, let's go over the bigger time frame. Actually, no, you know what? Let's go over the actual trade. This ended up being a big move in here. And it was like, kind of like, well, I'll see this. I think I want to do it. And I took it right in here, right in here in the break. And initially at the stop at 1420, which was tight for Infi. Rally back here. And I said, you know what? I'm lowering the stop to 1415. I really gave this no room to jiggle, but it was around this period here late in the morning. And I said, you know what? If it works, it works. And if it doesn't, I'm out of it. So then I lowered the stop to 1415 and it held. It held, and I could have been even more aggressive taking more here. I called a second entry in this here. I don't, I don't know if anyone in the room did it. I did not take more. It rolled on down, broke through the low, and fell off the planet. I actually got completely, totally out of this here into the 2 o'clock period. 13.25 was a number. I was 25 cents from the dream target, and it, it just was a good day, and I wasn't going to stay through this into 4 o'clock but there's a chance this could go to 13 yet still. 13 is the dream target, but this was a really nice trade here. I mean, I, this was just a good, really good trade. I actually wish I would have gotten heavier in here now looking back, but <laughs> you always say that about trades that go on to work so well. You say, gosh, I would have wish I would have had more, wish I would have had more, wish I would have had more. Um, but it was like not planned to do this today, but it ended up working out really well, and I still think this could possibly even get to 13 before the close but I'm, I'm done with it now. And I'm pretty much out of everything. I'm flat. So this had a bullish gap up back here on the ninth. Someone asked me about it in the room as a long, and I said, no, it's not a long. It's actually going to fail. That was a great call I made. The interesting thing was when I saw this gap, let me go look at it. It was the day. It was the ninth. This was like around 10 o'clock-ish, and it was still holding green. I said, that's strange. I said, that's weird, because I really thought it would fail. And then, lo and behold, it did at 1030. So then it broke the low at 1030, fell off a cliff. I mean, absolutely fell off a cliff here. This is a 15-minute chart of Infi on the day of the failed bullish gap, and I would have never bought this, um, because it just wasn't a good bullish gap. And it's... I don't really usually do failures. I really don't. Um, I did end up shorting some of that in the afternoon or late, uh, early afternoon, late morning on the day of the night uh, for a quick, quick play because I knew it was going to go and at least get to 14. But after this happened, after this bullish gap up failure, again, it wasn't a good one anyways, uh, I knew this was going to continue to break. And this will get back down here again. Now, I don't know if this does it soon, but it will. It absolutely will. Infi I have in my uh, trends class. I have this chart in my trends class because I was looking at it because it's changed directions a bunch of different times and it's been in a downtrend now all year. And it's gotten to the swing target. And the next time I do the trends class, I have to update it. This got to the number, got to the dream target for a swing trade if you did Infi uh, since the first gap. And I actually think it's going to break here now because of the way that gap failed so horrifically back up here. I mean, no one should have bought this. Do you see how this is a short? I mean, forget about the fact the last two days. It, it was a short even here. Just pretend you saw this gap here at 18 opening. It's not a buy. I, I see what people see here, but see, I just don't look at things that way. It's, I, it's so funny because I have a certain way of looking at things, and it's so opposite of the way that a lot of people look at things. But I think that's because I'm really good at reading gaps, number one. And number two, I'm just doing this type of trading now for a long, long time. And I'm not doing anything else. I mean, I'm only doing gaps. Uh, someone asked me the other day, they said, why don't you do longs and shorts? Why don't you do other things? Could I do other things? Yes. Would I be as good at seeing the specifics and the detail that I see in my trades if I did other types of strategies and also different directions, long and short, every single day? I don't think so, to be honest with you. I think the reason I'm so, so good at what I do is because I'm only doing one thing and I'm only doing it one direction. So I see things in a, in a way that not everybody sees. And then there's that intuition part of me that says, oh, gosh, you know, I know that this is going to work or I know that this isn't going to work kind of thing. Like the cost, Costco gap today, I didn't think it was going to work as a short, and it didn't. 
In fact, it flipped over the high and the market fell all day. And something told me that Costco wasn't going to work right. It didn't. But anyways, to make a long story short here, so I'm going off on a tangent, I see what people see here, why they wanted to buy this, but it was not the way that I looked at it. And who's right? I mean, who's right? The person that makes money in the train in the correct direction that it ends up going right in the day. And if you shorted this on the ninth, you made money. If you shorted it today like I did, you made money. Uh, Amphi is a short. End of story. What really happened here on this? The stock, pretend this didn't even gap here. It just gapped to the resistance, and then it broke and fell. That's all that it did. It could have very well rallied up to resistance. It wouldn't have made any difference. It wouldn't have made a would have difference. It's the same concept. Do you see this here? This is resistance. This is resistance. It's not a buy and support. It's a short into the resistance. And you got to know how to read this stuff, people. And if you don't, you got to learn. This is how you get the directions right and stuff. Look, this is going to break a new low. Well, I'm out of it. Yep, here it goes. Do, do, do. <laughs> it was a nice play, though. It was a nice play. I, I, you can't complain. You can't get greedy. You have a good day. Everything's working. You know, you just do it. And this is going to keep going. So this is Infi, the stock switch show play of the day. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, nice trade in here. Um, this is going to end up going to buck. This is probably going to get a 13. I, I got a good 75 cents out of this. Um, I'm going to miss the last piece of what this does. But this will continue further. I just know that this will continue down and somewhere in here break 13. This could even break 13 before the end of the day. Wouldn't that be funny? Where would it go then? Jeez, there's like nothing holding this up then. 12.50. 12.50 if this breaks 13. Well, I'm not redoing it. But this is a wonderful, nice uh, play here that I called today in the live trading room. So if you're interested in learning how to read correct directional trend, read support, read resistance, read gaps, know how to take trades in the right direction, I'm doing a Golden Gap class this weekend, December 14th and 15th. It really teaches you what to do and how to read charts right. I don't read charts the same as most people. I really don't. But I see what other people do. And actually knowing that helps me do what I do besides. Because when I'm going to short something and people are going to buy something, then I'm taking it out against them. So I'm getting it. But I'm wanting to be with the position of the institutions, the people that are really in control of the, of the stock chart. So I have conviction to take my position because I know that traders are trying to do stuff like buy this, which is a bad trade. And I also know institutions are looking to short more of this or sell out of this if they're still long this thing. Who knows why anyone would be, but pe people still are. I mean, they are. People that have been in this for a long time, a long, long, long time. So all of that comes in. The longs get stopped out here. Shorts come in, okay? The longs in the day get stopped out. Shorts come in, and people that are still long the stock that see it breaking end up selling then finally who haven't sold all along. So all of that creates the move here where this infi had this $4 drop and is still continuing today and had a, another, this is almost going to be a $2 drop today. Today. Look. Here it goes. It's going to break. Any second. So this is Melissa with the thestockswish.com. If you're interested in more information on how to trade gaps, email me about doing the class. This weekend's the last one this year. Last chance to do it. Uh, to trade successfully for 2014. Six, uh, if you're interested, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com or give me a call. Have a great day, everybody.